Watch this video for an introduction to using summary statistics, a critical mathematic principle for performance testers. Summary statistics are the most common method for reporting performance test results, even though they're frequently misused and misunderstood. Applying incorrect statistical methods to your results data can lead to gross mischaracterization of the application's performance, which is likely to lead to poor business decisions. Unfortunately, applying correct statistical methods without explanation can also lead to others grossly misinterpreting the results of your tests. One of the easiest ways to enhance the understanding of summary statistics is to ensure that they are accompanied by graphical representations of the data. Five of the most commonly used and misused summary statistics include the average, standard deviation, median, normal, and percentile. The reason that most of these statistics are misused and misunderstood is because few people realize that they are only meaningful when applied to certain distributions of data. For example, the average, standard deviation, and percentile statistics are only valid when used with normally distributed data. The median and normal values are not as commonly used, but are commonly mistaken as being synonymous with the average, which is only true if your data is exactly normally distributed. In the table, we see three sets of summary data statistics for data sets A, B, and C. Each data set has a sample size of 100 and an average value of 4. Consider for a moment just the statistics in the table. If there was a performance requirement that mandated an average of 4, which, if any of these data sets, would you characterize as having met that requirement? Which, if any, of these data sets would you characterize as exhibiting good performance? Now look at the graphical representations of each data set above the table. Is your opinion the same? Which representation do you believe would be easier for your team to understand, discuss, and make good business decisions around? In summary, take extra care to use the correct statistical methods when you are reporting or analyzing performance results. Ensure that the audience of the summary data understands the statistics being used. And finally, remember to supplement results data with graphical representations of that data to enhance the understanding of the results being presented. For more information, see the Performance Testing Guidance Project at CodePlex.com. More information on this topic is also available in the Performance Testing Guidance for Web Applications Guide, also located on CodePlex.com.